It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots, and this week's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Turn mm. your great idea into a reality with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project, whether you're showcasing your work or selling products of any kind. With beautiful templates and the ability to customize just about anything, you can easily make a beautiful website yourself. And if you do get stuck, Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support is there to help. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Hey, guys, don't be an idiot. If you've been injured in a car crash or other accident, call Morgan & Morgan. Morgan & Morgan has recovered billions of dollars for thousands of people, and it's free to hire them unless you win, okay? You only pay them when they make you that money. Visit ForThePeople.com forward slash idiots for a free no-obligation consultation. Now, listen, uh, today uh, on The Breakfast Club, well, last week on The Breakfast Club, we interviewed um, somebody who... I found very entertaining, and all I kept thinking to myself was, Andrew Schultz has to meet this person. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Flame Monroe is here! Yeah! We, we remember, remember we had Ida on, we told Ida we wanted to have Flame on. Yeah, and Ida Flame was bigging you up, man. Ida loves you. I was just telling you that earlier. Oh, I love Ida Rodriguez. That's my baby. That's you, my Latin fire. Yeah. F-I-Y-A-H. You, you were saying something very interesting. If you've seen the Tiffany Haddish uh, She Ready special on Netflix, um, then you've probably seen Flame. But you was giving Ida a lot of props because you said... Out of all of us, Ida is the most visible out of the six of us right now. Yeah. She's really on social media. She's working everywhere. Ida always uplifts each and every one of us wherever she goes. Hmm. You know, So meeting this time, but maybe Shantae the next time. Right. Maybe April the next time. Maybe Tracy. Then maybe Marlo. It, but she always recognizes all of us. And that is black empowerment or that is female empowerment right. to me. Because, you know, she not bitching us and motherfucking us and tearing us down. She giving us a platform to say, hey, bring my girl on. This is my girl. We we connected. We bonded. And behind the scenes, we pat each other on the back. We prayed. Yeah. We gave each other love. Go out there and kill it because I'm coming. It was like a bowling game. Go smash. If you don't knock them down, I'm coming back behind you and knock them down. It was, everybody was great. Now, I'm Flint, proud of you say woman's empowerment, but your booking email is he, she, we. At gmail.com. Mm -hmm. That don't mean I can't empower women. I'm a trans woman. I emulate a woman. Let me say that. I emulate a woman. I learned how to be a girl or a woman from watching a girl or a woman. Okay. Let's never get that confused that I would disrespect real women like that. Because to me, that's us disrespecting our mothers or whoever raised us female. Uh. Because I know who I am. I didn't learn how to be no girl from watching your ass or watching <laughs> well, this player. Mm -hmm. I learned how to be a player from watching this player. <laughs> former player, Flame. Flame, I am a former player. He's black men do not now. cheat. Yeah, he's transitioned. I am a faithful I, so black man. <laughs> Wait, why, why you want me to be a hoe so bad? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I appreciate what she did. And we're so busy caught up in the moment of what, what black women or what women didn't empower other women. Right. Let's talk about the positive ones that did. Yeah, you were saying Tiffany Haddish you did. were saying something really interesting is that just because you see women on TV doesn't necessarily mean they're an empowering role. Like they could be bickering and fighting on yeah, these shows. And these young girls see that. This is how they grow up. They think this is okay. Oh, I'm gonna have the best shoes. I'm gonna marry this man. I'm gonna go to this boutique and mid motherfucking bitch and fight over stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is who they grow up to become. This is who they grow. Up. All the shows that positive, all the Oprah Winfrey uplifting. I love you. Love yeah. yourself. Empower me shows. Can't no bitch do what I do show. You see that? <laughs> all those will last for two seasons because it's two walls. Not times. Oprah. Oprah was on forever. Oprah will always be on forever. That is She's Oprah. saying back in the day. Oh, okay, okay, that okay, is okay. Oprah. Let me make sure I give Oprah her G's. That's mm. Oprah. Do you think um, positivity... No, you can bring her in. Bring Bonnet. Boy, you can have them all in. Do you think positivity um, is, is just a hard sell? Um, I think that people don't realize that uh, energy is transferable. Got so you. if you round, surround yourself with negativity all the time, mm. it's going to jump on you like yeah. a ghost. It's going to be always just be at you because you're going to do, when in Rome, you do what Romans do. So if I surround myself with a whole bunch of negativity, eventually all they all their energy going to jump on me. I'm going to be the most negative. I'm usually pleasant and fun and bubbly. Yeah. Hold on. What time you got to leave exactly? Um, I got I got a little time. I can. Okay. I can. So listen, tell tell her, tell her we're bringing her in 1130. And then, yeah. So. 
I want some so time so, with Flint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're I so excited. Time with Flint. I like the way you said that. <laughs> 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 I'm going to make that nigga cheat before I leave. I promise. <laughs> And he gonna cheat in a whole new way, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we, oh, we're so excited to have you on because we, we've had all these conversations. I feel like there's all these conversations about trans stuff and there's never anybody trans present that you can like ask and actually understand. So Flame different, bro. So yo, I know she different. She was explaining to me yeah. earlier, but when you said, for example, that you're emulating a woman, mm-hmm. aren't there certain trans people that would be upset? Oh by- my god, we were just talking about that. Mm-hmm. Do you oh. understand that they coming after me, burning rainbow flags and marches in front of my house? <laughs> really? Because let me let me let me break it down. I love you, my trans sisters. I always had to throw that disclaimer in there. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, and brothers. Yeah, bro. um, <laughs> can I, I don't say, know any can trans. Can I say what you told me earlier? Yeah. She said, uh, unfortunately. Is the white motherfucker? That's the word. Like when mm. a, when someone in the office goes, unfortunately, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, we're moving in another direction. Yo, shit is being packed and security is only way. Absolutely, 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 absolutely. That's real talk. Black folks say, "Mofo." We say, "With love." Oh, I love this motherfucker. We say, "Well, hey, this nigga, oh, this motherfucker owe me money." Yeah, yeah. Baby, white people are so smooth with it. Yeah. Oh my God. Mr. God, we love you here at the company. You have done such an amazing job. Unfortunately, <laughs> baby, We're moving in another the direction. nail is in the coffin. Run. Yeah. Yeah. Run, Forrest, run. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not to cut you. Continue what you were saying. Uh, what did you ask me? It was about the, uh, they're at your door, they're burning rainbow flags oh, because. Yeah. Because as a transgender woman, and it, here's the, the misconception, and my sister's going to be mad at me. We, we love to look beautiful. We yeah. love to be soft and gorgeous, blend in, all of that. But when men are attracted to us, they're not attracted to us just because beauty helps. The softness helps. But they don't want you to be too soft because if you become too soft of hormones, you become too soft of hormones. They're attracted to us for the male anatomy. But in their psyche, they feel like, I, ca- I don't feel like I'm with a man because it don't look like this. It's a safe expression exactly. of gay exactly. in a lot of ways. Exactly. But you we need to know who about you, this. You need to know who you are. See, this is the problem with us. We uh-huh. don't know who, I know who I am. I know how what I like. I know how I like it. And I make no apologies for it. I don't I care about what you think or what he thinks. That's As not- you shouldn't. And by the way, that's what life should be about. Right. It's just very hard for people not to be. By the way, you're 50 years old, right? So we I'm grown. Years. I'm 41. I'm very it, grown. It takes, a, it takes a while to get to that level of I don't give a fuck. Yeah, but I always knew who I was. I knew who I was from a very young age. Now, I still had to go through the ups and downs of life with, you know, your mother saying this or your, somebody else making you feel a certain kind of way. But whenever I tried to conform or change with somebody else, I always went back to basics because it never worked for me man i wasn't comfortable can i tell you what my spiritual advisor told me last night during a a, a, a spiritual counseling session because you just hit it on the head i'm feeling very eric about do right now she said oh man let me see. she said uh uh this is a new addition to oh, his life she says, by the way this spiritual advisor. she says when um ever hold on god damn it how the fuck can i find it she basically said whenever you're being your true authentic self mm-hmm. you've been hurt Meaning, like you know, when you when I she, and she brought it back to my 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 inner child when I was a kid. When mm-hmm. I was a kid, and I was eight years old, and my cousin's ex wife used to be you know letting me suck her titties and and and, and giving me head. Mm. I used to like it, right? Yes. And then when she got the Jerry curl, I made her stop because I didn't like the smell of her her Jerry curl. And so then that woman started insulting me all the time. You understand what I'm saying? She felt rejected. Yeah. So she started insulting me. So me being my true authentic self saying, no, I don't want this anymore. Ah. I don't want this anymore yeah, yeah, caused yeah. me pain. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that, that, that makes us that makes us all try to be what people want Yo, us to be to avoid the pain. This is this is like baked into our DNA. Yeah. Biologically, I was looking up, I uh, look at this. Like back in the day when we were living in like little tribes, if you disagreed with the group, they just killed you. They couldn't have one person disagree or with the group. Salem, if they, or you had put you in the same asylum. Of course. Yeah. Right? So is anybody disagree with us? So it's in our DNA to kind of conform. They do those weird conformity experiments where they put like eight people in an elevator and then seven will all just turn around for no reason. Here's the beauty of being, um, of knowing who you are. Right. You're an independent thinker. 100%, but it's 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 scary mm. to get there for most people. I think that's why we look up to those that are independent thinkers, even if we disagree with them, because we understand the fucking balls it takes you know, oh, or you know, not uh, literally. <laughs> <laughs> are you transition? Oh, are you transition full? No, hell no. So you kept I'm it. I'm a blessed woman. I ain't changing shit. But flame my got three account. kids. You got three biological, kids. Biological. 
And now, I did them the old Flame like way. pussy. Oh. <laughs> we just talked about I know this. we were talking about this, and you said that you like female to male. Uh-huh. So that means. F to M's. You like so F they to went, M's. So they start off as a woman, and they transition to a man. But they usually keep the body. The vagina. Yeah. Okay, so this is this is an amazing photo. She likes girls that look like you. Thank you, bro. Right. So if you had, if you had a dude, and, and, and it has to be furry. I'm not Yo, one of these new age dudes. I do. I do have transfacial hair. Not that furry. Nah, this not is, there. This. Is, oh, you like it Pubic, down here? Baby. Ooh, my you God. like pubes? Don't you know that's the you black, are fifty. That's the black girl magic, baby. That's, that's how black girls can catch me. That really? Like, what? The wire. Really? <laughs> That's the wire, baby. The wire got traps. <laughs> Don't you did you listen to Dolomite say way down in the jungle deep? That, yeah. That's what that nigga was talking about. When you open your legs, I need it to look like Pam Grill's afro in the 70s right there. I'm going through to find the magic treat. Shit. Why you not, why you don't like the ball? I have had the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I still see very handsome men. I'm attracted to like, oh my God, he's gorgeous. But I just am not attracted to being penetrated. That just don't do nothing for me. Okay, so listen, when you say, so you call these women, so they're trans, what would that be? That trans would be trans men. They're men. trans men. Okay, so you like trans men. Yeah, I mean, they're still daddy, they still my baby, they still mm-hmm. boy, they demand 23 hours a day. They open the doors, they do everything men do. Mm-hmm. For the one hour dance, they don't. <laughs> Interesting. And then, so you dominate in that situation? Baby, in every situation in the bedroom. I'm that girl. So the bedroom is completely flipped, but life, you want to be dominated. Yes, you want to be taken be, care want, of. You no, I don't be, want to be taken care of. I'm a hustler. I'm always going to work. Right. But I want somebody to make Emotionally, me Emotionally, I meant. Yes, and appreciate And women are so attached and so loyal. And my grandmother used to always say, this is what separates trans women from real women or cis women. That's a new word, cis women to yeah. me. My grandmother used to always tell my aunties, a woman's strength and weakness is the exact same thing, uh-huh. her loyalty. Uh-huh. Because a woman will stay when she knows she should have been gone. For the sake of her children, for her stature, for whatever. A man, we because I still got a man's heart and mentality. And a man, I'm going, look, baby, I'm tired. This is getting my goddamn nerves. I'm going to get a loaf of bread. 20 years later, I ain't came back. <laughs> Yo, that was a great excuse so, back in the day. But this is why I'm saying women are loyal to a fault. Right. We don't have that because we still think. And right. most queens I know are hustlers. Yeah. The queens in relationships are most of the time the men in relationships because they make the money. They make the bread. They got the hustle and the drive. Uh-huh. The man is just the showpiece. Interesting. Now, here's a question I've always had, and, I, and maybe you have some perspective on this. We, we, you know, trans people speak about feeling like they're in the wrong body or feeling like the opposite gender. I don't know what it feels to be a man, right? I just know what it feels to be me. I'm just walking around as me. And I guess when I was a kid, I felt like a kid. An adult, I feel like an adult. But I don't know if I understand your explanation that you're confusing the shit out of me. But I know what you're saying. <laughs> I, let's go back. That's um, how I feel. Right. Well, I wouldn't know what it feels like to be a woman anyway because I've never been a woman. That's why you so, said emulate. Exactly. So, yeah. so then, what is the so so so? My I don't, question I, is, I don't. I couldn't. I couldn't even answer that because I've never felt like I was in the wrong body. Ah, but you've heard that term before, I've heard right? That, but I'm very comfortable with me. So the changes I made, I added on. I you wanted want to, to do it, yeah. okay? So then, the question is like, how did you know that this was the most comfortable for you before you ever, you know, had makeup or a wig or wore a dress? Oh, like I've seen somebody on TV. It was and uh, it was simple as that. Beverly LaSalle from All in the Family. And when I saw her, I knew I was going to be okay because that is who I was when I was only six. At that young age. I, well, I wouldn't tra- dress now. See, now, let, let's go to that, to the young age thing. I don't agree with the whole Johnny, Johnny identifies as a girl and Johnny's seven. And so yeah, John, yeah, I'm yeah, letting yeah, Johnny wear dress. Yeah, Who's yeah. in charge in your house? Because I beat Johnny's ass and said, look, he's a little player. Yeah. You can identify as a girl at home. You're not going out in the streets and to school like that because I know how cruel the world is. Ah. That is considered problematic. So I, I'll take it. But when Johnny, when you hit, <laughs> Johnny, when you hit puberty and you decide that that's how you're feeling and you still got that, then we'll have that talk. And if I feel that you're ready to do that, because I'll do that. Because here's what happens. Because life is phases and your mind changes from years to years to right, years. Right, right. So you let little Johnny identify as a girl. Some of these parents are giving these little boys testosterone blockers at nine and Dude, 10 Dude, it's years crazy. Old. You shrink his penis. You mess up his sperm count. He starts growing breasts. But then Johnny turns 17 and meets some little girl that he likes. Get him some some vagina for and the she, first time. she don't want him because really dick's small. And she don't want him. You got titties. I can't have your baby because you shrunk your penis to yeah. this small. So you didn't mess Johnny's mind up completely yeah. as the parent. Yes. Because you ain't let Johnny just be I mean just you. somebody needs to be in charge yes. so Johnny comes back at 19 say he hates you he hates his life kills himself or kills a parent 
why can't we have this conversation without being considered transphobic? And that's why I love people like you because you're from that community. They'll listen to you. Mm-mm. To us, they, they just they, always they, being transphobic. No, they get so upset at her. <laughs> I'm looking at emails like you wouldn't believe in, in, in boxes. But, but what's interesting is that like, I feel like we're having a conversation and we're asking questions because we truly don't understand it. And when you don't understand things, and ignorance is bliss. So if you want to know, ask. Exactly. And what Word. I want to do, what I want to do with people in my in my touring and meeting people, because I'm telling you, I want to be a spokesperson. But I want to be able to talk to you, and you might have thought of this about a trans person. Yes. But after talking to me, you have let the shield down and be like, you know, a flame is cool as hell. Yeah. I'm, maybe I can meet another one like that. Yeah. Talking to you, you might have been a little abstract, a little apprehensive. The L said the same thing to me. You say, flame, I didn't know what to think. Talk to you 20 minutes, you done let the curtain down. You know why? Like I told you earlier, because she talking shit and laughing. Yeah. That's all we want to do. Give me a nigga pop a drink, smoke some weed, let's talk some shit and laugh and give him something. I don't smoke weed. Bullshit. I don't. I'm an edible girl. I don't smoke weed. Well, I same did, thing. Now, I love what you when you say he, she, and we. I love how you break that down. Because the man in me been pimping the woman in me for 25 years. Because Marcus Parker don't make no money. But Flame Monroe make it all. So he cash the check, she get the money, and we spend it. That's one person. That's my pronoun. Come on. That's my pronoun. I don't know what happened, but I love it. Don't you think it's wild that they want us to learn all these new pronouns? You even said sis just now, and you was like, that's some new shit. How you think we feel? I just always have grown up with real women. A real woman. Or what's our slang for fish? See, that's fish over there. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? That's what we call. That's what the, the gay community calls real women. Now, what if she got an older? Well, that's what that, if she that's, got that not so fresh where, right I actually think that is where the, the terminology "fish" derived from. But that was before my time, even. Yeah. So that's been going around for years and years and years. Right. But I don't, I don't know. I, I didn't, I don't ask where that came from. I don't even ask where the boys when they pants up under their ass came from. They say it's prison. I don't know. Taylor, reject <laughs> that. That's a slur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would never call you a fish, Taylor. I'm respectful to women. So, so Flame was talking to me about. Um, there's a show called RuPaul's Drag Race, which is like one yeah, of the biggest shows out. It's a, it's a massively popular it's been show. Like Twenty seven seasons. It's so many seasons, and it's massively popular within the LGBTQ community. Um, and and it's first of its kind in a lot of ways, where it's like a show that's made for gay people. It's not trying to explain gay people to straight people, but it's actually made to entertain gay mm-hmm. people, right? Which is great. Which is great, but Flame had some interesting points about that I never knew. For example, he's very picky, or is it he? Trans, yeah, RuPaul identifies as a man. Okay, so they, yeah. He does not uh, allow transgender performers to audition for the show. You can't have boobs and- Augmentation aug- or yeah, anything like because that. Because you're not allowed to, but you can do it after you tape. But you can't do it prior to. That's so not fair, well, is it? Well, that's this is where we keep screaming for inclusion outside of our community, mm-hmm. but we don't have inclusion within our community. Mm. And nobody will see us until we see us. And we don't see us. You know what? I'm gonna tell you something that's so interesting about that, because I thought about that when you said it earlier. I never ever thought about the transgender, trans woman, or just the trans struggle until Caitlyn Jenner. That I never was, thought about it. That was never a struggle. But no, I'm just saying this. Like, that's when that whole conversation started for, I guess, people that weren't in that community. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. it was that. It wasn't then, in your face. It wasn't in my face. And then it, then it was about the laws in North Carolina. Like, right. I was like, I remember even saying, well, what were they doing before? Yeah. <laughs> what were they using the bathroom at before this law or whatever? I am so not caught up on the pronouns in the bathrooms. When I got to pee, I'm going to pee. That's male or female bathroom. I go in the bathroom, take care of my business, wash my hands, and come the hell up out of there. I'm yeah. not holding court. And my you, joke is, some days I use the male's bathroom, some days I use the female, because some days I wear pants, and some days I wear skirt. Yeah. Same process going to happen. I'm going to put my skirt up, put my pants down, put my dick out, I'm pissing in the toilet. <laughs> Ladies, you know if I've been in your bathroom, because the player me still lit the seat up there. Now I'm going to be honest with you, <laughs> that's not fair, yo. That's the that's the equivalent of white privilege in a lot of ways. Well, I take Because what about shit. them long lines, them long fucking lines at the games? And you like, you know, fuck that. This men's bathroom too long. I'm going to women's. And that ain't fair. But life ain't fair. <laughs> yeah. If it was, you had a hat off and would have had a hat cut. You knew the queen was coming. You say you're a guy, but the queen was coming, bro. And you just respectful because you didn't get your hat cut. I want to see you at your cut. handsome self. <laughs> now, come on with it. What else you got? I wanted you to have see you me ever, in my realness. Have oh, you ever? <laughs> you don't want to see my realness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. So have you ever tried a a uh transitioned vagina? 
female. Oh, hell no. I'm Never not, once. No, I'm not attracted to somebody like me. Accidentally. They got no, you. I know what a pussy is. I'm a connoisseur of the vagina. Interesting. It okay. ain't going to smell the same. Definitely and I not. I don't have one, so before y'all start blasting me out. Okay. That wouldn't even interest me. Okay, because there was a question that we asked uh, last, I think it was last week or maybe a couple weeks, and that was, do, if you get a transition v- vagina, does it come with a hymen? What? <laughs> no, I'm sure not. I'm 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 not sure. Let me so don't say that because you right. know they'd be up and on. I don't I don't know, and I don't want to know. Right. I'm attracted to the one that does what I needed to do when it's time. Right. I needed to juice and I needed to smell, but because of the pheromone, <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a way that attracts the man. Every man has a woman that has a certain smell. It's always that one that will reel you in with smell. You know she wants. You. My daddy used to say, "If it smells like cologne, leave it alone. If it smells like fish, eat all you wish." Really? The, yep. daddy was, the daddy was old school like me. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had to fight uh, fight a guy? Oh, I'm just them hands. I, I know, I but I'm just saying, like, yes. I'm, talking about, I'm talking about in this. Like, you and you and you in yeah. full flame and roll. Mm-hmm. What happened? You should check my record. I got some stories back in the day. Really? I, I, I'm not into the whole... I, I know gay bashing does happen, but I don't kind of worry about that because I'm, I'm prepared. I'm going to say that. T- that's politically correct. I'm prepared. No, you look like you'll fuck somebody up, Flynn. No, I'm not. No, I'm so nice and feminine. You see the arms, no muscles. No nothing. <laughs> Cause that shit gotta be wild to be a guy, start some shit with you, and then get you beat them the fuck up in the I wig and the dress. How, I have learned with this how to control the narrative pretty much now. Yeah. But sometimes you just can't, and sometimes you are in situations where you are just in danger and fear for your life. But then I'm asking myself, would I rather be judged by 12 or carried by 6? Mm. I'd rather be judged by 12. You're not going to be around to tell the story. You a nigga, yo. Nigga say 12, buddy. That's, <laughs> you know how many killers I done heard say that? <laughs> <laughs> That's an old school. I don't know what you're talking That's about, baby. old <laughs> school gangster <laughs> saying I'd rather be carried by 12 carried by 6. six. And, and because I'm so comfortable with me, Charlemagne, that was you just said Flame you just a nigga in the game I was in the comedy game for so many years 19 years the first 8-9 years the other male comedians wouldn't even speak to me I couldn't get no love I couldn't get a fist bump because my security bothered their insecurity wow. I've been in the game That's for 19-20 years there is not one male comedian that could say Flame pushed up and this one I was young and a monster the body was banging was at 6 waistline was snatched beautiful young skin lived as a woman no male comedian now I got a fucking list that I could drop and take some heads off. What do you but, mean? People, uh, people trying to holler at you? you? Yeah, no, holler, baby, I got some stories. But <laughs> what would it do for me to out them? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Understand that, you understand the consequences of when the trans girls out these men, especially when they're professional athletes, yeah. or they have lives, livelihood. For every black professional male athlete that you see that made it to a team, it's 50 that didn't. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. you're going to catch feelings for a trick because that's all he is, is a trick. You gonna catch feelings for a trick, knowing he already got a wife, mm. he got kids, mm. he has a family, he can't be with you for Thanksgiving. You knew that when you started dealing with this nigga. My issue with the queens is they always say, "Well, he had a choice, so did you." Uh. The queens had a choice. If you want to deal with a man that's gonna hold your hand and take you to the family barbecue and kiss you in the mouth, good luck. And when you out with them, you just fucking up your sex life. It ain't even just that. They used to beat our ass. They're taking us up out of here now. Oh man. Ah. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah, have to know yeah, that there yeah. is a choice in what you do. There is consequences and repercussions to the shit that you do. Interesting. I'm old school queen. Old school queens know to shut the fuck up. In my Easter Ray voice, shut the fuck up. That's why you know when when you was asking me about the Malik Yoba interview with the trans uh trans women, the reason I didn't push back on that is because I don't feel like it's my job to understand what it is that they're experiencing. Push it's just my what? it's just my job to understand they have the right to be who they are and not be killed for it. But I was on you because Charlemagne, you go hard, player. You do go hard. And I I, I respect that. I mm-hmm. actually like when you pull it up out of people. But I, I get nigga who you ain't getting to. <laughs> uh, but when Malika then was on here, I was mad at you because I'm like I understand that she was confused because I was at home confused. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, you giving this nigga a pass. Ask this nigga. Nigga, do you hear what you saying to me? You saying you like a beautiful woman with a penis. You a man. You a straight man. You don't know no women with no fucking penises. That's the real of the whole situation right there. Yeah, you are right. You don't know no woman with no penis. <laughs> no, you're absolutely that's right. That's some bullshit. That shit. And I, that's what I was right. saying. If I could have called in, I would have called. Now here, let me break the whole Malik down. Malik <laughs> called me before he did this. Before no. he decided to come out. I know Malik personally. I do. We, we were cool. Work who? Uh, and he called, and y'all said Malik don't do it. 
He said, Flame, I'm so shocked. I said, Malik, don't do it. Do you know who the first community going to turn on you is? He said, who? The straight community? I said, no, the trans girls. Mm. Guess what they did? Turned on him. Turned on his ass. Why? Yeah. That, that is what we do by nature. I, don't ask me why. I got many <laughs> stories. I'm not going to tell. This right here yeah. is a gold mine. Of, of, and this is a gold mine of jewels. But this knows how to keep the mouth closed. Even if you may be angry and we had did something, you ate this celebrity. What is, what is it going to do for my career right. to put you on blast? Even the woman, uh, the woman who... But why I would guess they turn cute, on him? I, I, for well, what? What did he say? A lot of people saying it was confusion and uh, confusing. No, they were saying the young girls came out and said that he was dating them when they were young. Yes, and she called the radio station. She called that day, and she was like, "Holly, why would y'all put him on the air?" Oh my God. First know. community I told him that was going to turn on him was the trans community, mm. and they did. Mm. And then who? Which else? is why I am who I am because I, you think I care about them. You know how much shit I get. But them hoes know toe to toe. We 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 gonna have to go. And you said y'all were cool. Why y'all not cool no more? <laughs> because I was not with his platform. I never agreed with what he was saying. I said you are confusing the youth. You you're not confusing me because nigga, I know what you do. But you're confusing the youth because you're telling them and you disrespecting women because you keep saying you're attracted to a beautiful woman with a penis. Ain't no fucking woman got no penis. And you know the difference between a, vagi a vagina and a penis, nigga. You got a couple of baby mamas and a couple of kids. Yeah. So who you can feel? Who are you trying to sell it to? Back to what I said. They feel like that when they with all this femininity, they still not with a man. Right. It's it's so you think that we just need this kind of realness, bro. But no, this well, is bring interesting. Me on. I can move to New York. Come on with it. I can do nah, this every do. day. So so you think that Malik actually might be struggling with his homosexuality? Struggling. He's gay. Uh, but, uh, yeah. But see, that's when they confuse you, right? Because your whole life, right, you're taught that two men sleeping with each other is gay. Same sex well, relationship. Tank say, tank say you can suck two dicks. Tank say you can suck two dicks. I would just want to know that person. I thought about the same thing. When, you said. <laughs> when I said that, I thought about the same thing. Brilliant mind. Brilliant mind. You, <laughs> Bro, you, mind, you a cancer. I'm going to cancel you now. Uh, what day? June 29th. I'm July 14th. Yep. But it's it's crazy that we grew up the Ooh. whole life thinking that. No, cancers, don't, <laughs> cancers can't go together. Oh, they can't? There's way too much shit in the room, with baby. Uh-uh. That's too really? much personality. I'm about to bring another cancer here in a minute. My girl, Bonang. She from South Africa. Oh, because cancers can't go together. Interesting. Good but go, go on. I didn't want to interrupt. Go on. Keep no, no. Going. I'm just saying our whole life we were taught same-sex relations yeah. is gay. Yeah. So now when you got people saying, no, it's not. Or you got Malik Yoba saying he sleeps with women with penises. It, it is very... It's not even just confusing the kids. It's confusing here's, to everybody. Here's here yeah. my sexuality. I like what I like. Right. That's it. Right. So if I want to do some penis, I'm, I'm allowed to do that because that's what I wanted to do. Right. Because I, I don't owe you no excuse. Right. And nobody knows what's going on in my bedroom unless I tell them. Right. Or your partner tells them. Shut your damn mouth. Interesting. I don't care what the presentation looks like. You'll never know what's going on in private unless somebody tells it. Do you think that we'll get to a point where... No. No, no, no. This is, <laughs> this is, this is interesting. Do you think we get to a point where we stop assuming that our sex life is synonymous with our living life. In other words, you know, you could walk around in a dress and heels and all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to home, you might just want a traditional woman. Oh, so now you're describing my life. No, because you like male to female. Yes, I do. Right? Or mm -hmm. very butch lesbian, yes. you said. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is like, do you think we'll get to a point where we go back, we almost revert back to, hey, what happens between the sheets, that's your business, and then outside in the world, do whatever the fuck you want to do. Not with social media. It's it's just too out there. It's not with social media. Social media is just ruining so much stuff. As, as, as good as it is, and as right. great as it is, it's just... It's detrimental. People don't talk to each other anymore. People don't talk to each other and they don't give anything time to cook. Meaning yeah. like something can go out, everybody rushes to a conclusion, that becomes the narrative and that's it. And then when things come back around and you realize like, oh, I was wrong about that. Nobody wants to admit they're wrong. Uh. Nobody keeps that same energy when it comes to being fucking wrong. Yes. If everybody could, if people could admit they were wrong on yeah. social media, yeah. social media would be Ooh, a Speaking fine. of being wrong, Vanessa Bell Calloway, I didn't want that to seem like I was doing a dig at you on that show the other day because, girl, I th love you. We we started off rough, but we're great. You're a fantastic mother and you did a great job of Harriet. Let me say that because it looked like I was throwing Vanessa under the bus the other day, but I'm lo I love Vanessa. So Give us some it. context with what the hell you talking yeah, about. what's playing. going on? Well, I taped the Tammy Mac show, the Tammy okay. Mac Fox show, and they was, she was asking me about Vanessa Cal Bell, Bell Calloway and we started off rocky but we ended up being really cool and I didn't clean that part up so I don't want to say like we no because I as a mother she's been her daughter's phenomenal people right she raised wonderful people yeah and uh, she was brilliant and hairy she's a great actress so yeah 
And we want to clean that up, girl. All right, let's take a break from Flame real quick, and then we'll bring Benong in. Uh, but if there is something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, BetterHelp Online Counseling can help, all right? BetterHelp offers licensed professional counselors who are specialized in issues such as depression, anxiety, relationships, trauma, anger, family conflicts, LGBT matters, grief, self-esteem, and more. Connect with your professional counselor in a safe and private online environment and get help at your own time and at your own pace, okay? Anything you share is confidential, so it's convenient, all right? You can schedule secure video or phone sessions as well as chat and text with your therapist. If for some reason you are not happy with your counselor, though, you can request a new one at any time for no additional charge. Best of all, it's a truly affordable option. Our listeners even get 10% off your first month with the discount code IDIOTS. So why not get started today? Go to betterhelp.com slash IDIOTS, then simply fill out a questionnaire to help them assess your needs and get matched with a counselor you'll love. That's betterhelp.com. Flash idiots. Guys, do you remember when socks used to be one of the worst things you could get at Christmas? Well, times have changed because Stance has completely revolutionized the sock game. Stance socks designs are incredible. They're insanely comfortable and their durability is unmatched. From casual styles like no shows and crews to their performance athletic product, there's something for everyone. And Stance collabs with other great brands, artists, athletes, and cultural icons. I mean, Think about it. Star Wars, Disney, Harley Davidson, Kid Cudi, Wu-Tang, Marvel, NFL, NBA, MLB, Grinch, Elf, Carhartt, X-Men, Donovan Mitchell. The list goes on. Buy stance stocks by the pair or sign up for a subscription that's based on your preferences and your customized timeline. All right. I mean, I think that's the best one to go for. If you ask me, I can't think of a better gift to get or give this holiday uh, season than stance socks. And Brilliant Idiots listeners can get a free pair on their next order. All you have to do is go to stance. That's S T A N. C-E dot com slash idiots. Take the guesswork out of holiday shopping. Stance makes gifting easy and everyone will be happy. Stance.com slash idiots for all your holiday needs and free socks with purchase. This show is brought to you by Squarespace. Okay, you can turn your dream into a reality with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project. All right, whether you're looking to start a new business, showcase your work, publish content, sell products, and more, Squarespace is the tool for you. With beautiful templates created by world-class designers and the ability to customize just about anything with a few clicks, you can easily make a beautiful website yourself. Squarespace's powerful e-commerce functionality lets you sell anything online, and analytics help you grow your site in real time. Everything is optimized for mobile right out of the box. And there's nothing to patch or upgrade ever. Buying domains is simple, and you'll get the help you need with Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support. Squarespace empowers millions of people, from designers to lawyers, artists to gamers, even restaurants and gyms, to turn great ideas into something real. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot, offer code Idiot. Let me introduce my two cancer uh, sisters. In hey, here right it's now. a lot of crab love up in here right now. Yeah. <laughs> and she got the chinchilla coach, y'all. She better not lay it down, man. <laughs> New York this, is cold. This is Flame Monroe. Flame is a uh, comedian. Love you too. Love you can watch her on love. Netflix. She oh, has a wonderful. Uh, she has a show called. Uh, she's on Tiffany Haddish's yes. show. Yes, they, they ready. ready. Lovely. And this is Bonang, Bonang. Matiba. Yes. Where yes. you from? Africa? South Africa. Hey, yeah, from Joburg. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. I'm a TV girl. <laughs> Bonang does media in uh, Joburg. Yeah, started oh, as a radio TV personality, okay. mm-hmm. TV personality. Now she got shows and books and lingerie wonderful. and the great Apps. wine that I make. I'm gonna send you some. Oh, come on, baby. Let's yeah, pop there's something. my wine. You look like you enjoy some there, wine. No, 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 I don't drink. You don't drink. I got you. But I'll, I'll sit with you, but I really okay. don't drink. It's warm, really but up until you. I was 45, I never you had a desire to go wow. to Africa, but now I do. You have yes, to sir. come. I'm, I'm it's gorgeous. Going. You're going to have so much fun. I never had and that desire. And it's cheap. Well, not even that. I just, <laughs> it, you know, how, in my spirit, I never felt like I, you know, I wanted to go. But I got so, you. when I hit like forty five, I'm like, I, I need to go to Africa. You have I just to want to go. But no, how would she be received in Africa, South Africa? I'm not gonna show up like this, first of all. <laughs> well, you don't need it. It's very warm in South Africa, so you wouldn't need a no, chinchilla. I mean, I'm not gonna even be dressed up. I wouldn't even be in drag. I would just. Oh, good. My, yeah, I wouldn't be dressed up. I mean, South Africans love gifts. You know, I think we are a very <laughs> we 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 love uh, you know visitors. We love yeah, yeah, Americans. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I think if I'm not enjoy working, I'm not even in drag. So oh. if I wasn't working, I'd be walking around looking like a hobo. Oh, well, we love hobos too. <laughs> really? I'm trying to be. Yeah, in. South Africa's very, I mean, South African people, like I said yesterday, they're just, you know, just very humble and 
chilled about my, most uh, My manager's sister, mm-hmm. brother-in-law is South African. I tell me, okay. you're the only, you the only African American I know. Wait, put your lips on the mic. I know you haven't done it in a while, but come on. <laughs> bring, bring the mic to me. Let me, let me do my Jill Scott. Shit. <laughs> 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 well, no, that's Andrew Schultz. Uh, that's my partner on the Brilliant Idiots. Too. That cap is going to be uh, very uh, lucrative in a couple of years. Yes. Why? Because Barney's is closing down. No? Really? Barney's, yeah, that's that's why I like the hat. Yeah. You're going to sell it for a lot of money in a couple of years. Well, if it. you're a fashion person. Really? Yeah. Barney's is closing down. I, like yeah, they filed I mean, for I know it's closing down, but people would give a fuck about the hat in of a couple of years. Of course. It's like a, a Birkin. Yeah. You, know, you, it's missed like that, you missed that whole thing. That's a businessman working. Do you hear that? <laughs> I'm listening to her. That's a businessman working. All of a hat. You, you know, know I that's mean, why she can wear chinchillas. Yeah. You and know, I that's why. Th- yeah. And I got on the thrift shop coat. Girl, what am I doing wrong? You still look cute. You still look very cute. Thank you. I mean, you know, that's why Supreme items are so expensive because they supply are, and demand. Yeah. Demand mm. is low. Mm. Or the demand is going to be high because the supply is low. Exactly. Really? No more. Yeah, 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 yeah. is closing down. It's like quite a thing for fashion people because it's so iconic. Yeah. So, so you're from Johannesburg. Yes. Okay. Um, remember, so, when I, remember when I was shouting out. I was pronouncing her name wrong because I was okay. saying Bo Nang, but it's Bo Nang. Bo Nang. Remember, I was saluting her and saying how I follow her on Instagram, mm. and she's just living mm. like life. Yes. You could just tell, like mm. she's living her best fucking life. <laughs> yes, this is Bo Nang. Yeah, ah, this is me. Okay, well, yeah. it's nice to meet you. Nice yeah, to meet yeah. you. I, you know, I grew up watching all these like surfing videos. Okay, so um, which is random coming to New York, but uh, there was all these like iconic surf spots that mm. I wanted to go see in South mm-hmm. Africa. Uh, Jeffrey's Bay is the big one. That's the big. That's the big one. Yeah, Plattenberg Bay. Plattenberg Bay is another yeah, one. Is a Durban, big, I think, Durban is another is a big, big surf town. Yeah, but the thing with Jeffrey's Bay is like there's all these great white sharks. Yes, is that something that you guys are concerned about when you're swimming? That like of shark attacks. Uh, yeah, especially <laughs> particularly in Cape Town around Musenberg. There's uh-huh. a lot of sharks. So you're but on vacation very... with your family and you're just swimming in the yeah, ocean. Yeah, of course. It... <laughs> it's Africa, darling. There's animals I everywhere. Not everywhere. I gotta talk about that. Not I, 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 I mean, in the sea, there's animals. If you go into sharks the ocean, there'll be sharks. Right. Sharks yeah. are racist. Sharks I mean, are racist. Sharks are racist. Yeah, no, they don't bribe black people. Wait a minute, because they call themselves the great whites? You always take little Billy and little Jody to neighbors with you when you go to the ocean because they're not going to go past my black children and bite the little white kids. That's a fact. They don't bite, but they don't like dark meat. So you tell me, Great white sharks don't bite black great people. Great white sharks like great white folks, baby. <laughs> 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 That's a joke, y'all. Don't start with your shit. Let me put on my shades. <laughs> hey, that might be true, though. You never, you never hear about black people getting there's bit There's no shark. shark attacks. And they say we don't swim. We do swim. No, we I'm just smart never. enough to take I'm the Googling little white that. kids with The last shark attack was like three years ago, and it was a white. It's always a white person. White, white people. people do the crazy things. They like go into like the sea and shit. Like they do adventurous things. They go up mountains and yes. funny things. I mean, no. We yeah. don't wanna, no. Why do you think we do that? Why do you think we do all those crazy things? Because you have money to do those things. Yes, but you have money. You're not doing these crazy things. You're not hiking. Yeah, yeah don't blame that on money. They blame that on whiteness, boy. Oh. <laughs> right, <that's got> <laughs> okay. right. There's only one Steve Irwin for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Irwin was too white for white people. They're like, he's doing too much. Even we watch it. This white boy cranks. They learn from him. Maybe you can tell me I'm not white. I don't know. I, I think... I think it has something to do with like um, when life gets boring, we need to feel like uh, we have to survive. Okay, wonderful. You know, like oh. I, I, I don't think that like, you know, there's parts of the world where people are really struggling and I don't okay. think they have the same desire to skydive. Yeah. Right. Because every yeah. day is the struggle. Every day is survival. Yeah. It's like yeah. find water, find food. Yeah. That's survival. Yeah. But when life is too easy, you start getting bored and you're like, okay, I need to go snowmobiling. Mm. You know, I need to okay. put myself in danger. I need that's to, true. like so many people go to, go to Africa and they go on safari. Right. And mm-hmm. like, they actually, they'll go hunt animals. Right. And mm-hmm. it's like, I'm like, what is that about? Why do you feel the need mm, to like to tap into your like primal roots? And I was talking to a buddy of mine and he was like, I really think that like, these are like reward systems baked into our humanity. That's crazy. You know, like going out there, like why if you are worth like millions and millions of dollars, are you taking a gun in the middle of the forest and trying to shoot like a buffalo? Maybe some people just like power. Maybe some people just like overpowering overpowering things and like they can't overpower a person. So they go overpower an animal. Mm. Anymore. anymore but those yeah, people yeah. that can true. afford to do that are probably so powerful yeah. already they're like overpowering people it's got to be expensive to do that a private i'm sure it is i i, I wouldn't really know you've never you know, done i've that. seen people we see people coming uh, i mean all over the world hunting <laughs> yeah. some places it's legal 
You know, they're people with licenses who are able to come into a game reserve and, you know, kill a giraffe and say, hey, take a picture and put it on Instagram. But it is expensive, I'm sure. Is it is it annoying to answer, like, animal questions when you come to the States all the time? Yes. <laughs> well, don't walk around in we... chinchillas. You got a whole goddamn animal on you, Bonang. All right? <laughs> don't walk around animals on you, then. It feels lovely. <laughs> Yo, in South Africa, it's, since 1905, it's only been 248 mm. unprovoked shark attacks. Only. Unprovoked. Yeah. How do you, I mean, is I don't it know. going in the water? Maybe provoking? if you're going in there, fuck with but two, yeah. you know how little that mm. is? Mm. 248 since 1905? Yeah. So you have to come and surf in South Africa. You won't get eaten by a shark sea. No, I would love to. You love I, it. I, the I water's cool. warm. The people are warm. The food is great. Yeah, yeah. The weather's great. You yeah. know, everything's just fine. Okay, now now another question I have. Languages. Yes. Okay. There's obviously everybody speaking English. There's eleven in South Africa. This is why I speak six and understand nine. Okay. So you speak Interesting. English. English, Afrikaans. Afrikaans. Now Afrikaans is like a blend with like Dutch or something. German. Yeah, German, Dutch. I think I believe so. It's got a lot of chs and yes. fr. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's like um, Arabic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And what else? Siswana, Sisotu, Northern and, and, and Southern Sisotu are two different languages. Uh -huh. Kosa. The clicks. Kosa. It's Kosa. Say it again. It's Kosa. Can you click? Kosa. No, no, I can't. Oh, 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 no. Can you say Gauteng? Gauteng? That's easy. That's I got easy. that. That's yeah, my In English, I was done. Tossa. <laughs> <laughs> now, did y'all ever Swati, get. Con yeah, so there's 11 official languages in South Africa. So, But everybody unites usually around English? English and Isi Zulu. Isi Zulu. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Have you mm. heard of Shaka Zulu? Oh, of course, Shaka yes. Zulu. Yeah, 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 everyone knows Shaka Zulu. You know, but you know why? Shaka Zulu. <laughs> I love Americans. They make me laugh. <laughs> Every second word is like literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally. <laughs> you like literally? <laughs> Especially in LA. All the girls speak like that. I'm like, Why literally. Is that? All the white girls speak yeah, like that. Literally. literally. Yeah, it's so funny. It's Unfortunately. So funny. Oh, 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 don't do it, Charlotte. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Why no. do you think that we're like that? Why do you think Americans have this? Uh... I don't know. A twang. It's I don't know. It's an okay. I guess it's just an accent. But that's what no, makes life do great, though, that? right? What do you mean? You have a New York accent. I got mm. kind of the down south lisp. I guess a little mm. New York. Yeah, yeah. You know what don't I mean? Don't blame that on the, the it's south, like here, right? They're Definitely many dialects. The the, say again. They're many dialects. So just everyone speaks English. Yeah, like you have different neighborhoods that are going to have different and different accents, different yes. areas. But but I do think that there is this kind of like universal, like literally is in <laughs> is everywhere, right? Like yeah. a girl in New York could say that. Yeah. So there's something cultural cultural about America literally. that like we have to. Life is so good, we have yeah. to, like, prove it's real. Yeah, like, literally. Literally. It's like, literally. literally. <laughs> it's the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and, it's a, and it's a donut. Yeah. <laughs> no, really. 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 It really is definitely New York. Why the really fuck are we trying York. to convince for each other? For real, though. For real, <laughs> real though. Yo, dead ass. Dead ass. Yo, yo, dead dead ass. ass. Dead oh, God. Yo, don't go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, this is a great observation. Why are we constantly trying to that prove these things are really yes. happening? Yeah. Maybe because America's, I think on the low, America know we kind of full of shit. We do. <laughs> we kind of know that we full of shit just a little bit. Because okay. the things that you're going to see, mm. right, in South Africa, like they require literally way more. <laughs> like literally a great white shark ate that white literally. kid. Literally. That yeah. needs a literally. Yeah. 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 Like, literally, literally, it's thirty it's degrees out. Does time. not. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Andrew, I'm gonna tell believable. you after all your Stilo, all this black men. I'm, I'm looking at your 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 patch because I'm thinking it's a brother up under there. Who? And you, I'm, I'm I have a brother up under me. No, I'm <laughs> What would that make him if you had a brother up under him? Uh, you been Is it too early for champagne? It's a little too long. Because <laughs> well, you have went straight back there. Like, let me look at his junk. I got ice. He might be more black than he knows. I'd prefer you have it chilled, but I mean, you can. I you want drink me to champagne wait? all day. Yeah. Uh, it, it might be a bit warm. Put on ice for like 30 minutes. Because I want you to enjoy it like. But, but we might have to leave after 30. Can we just try? This is your this own. This is her own champagne. Yeah. Oh, my God. Same way Hove got Ace of Spades. Yeah. Bonang got House that's of BNG. BNG. Yeah. And that's for Bonang. Yeah. It's short for Bonang. Made in, made and bottled in Cape Town. But mm. I'm going to take you. I'll take you to oh. the vineyard. Okay, let's try it. Can I, I try it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I got ice. 
I'm so gonna order some is, anyway. Oh, so you got some money if you're per, if you're making champagne they, out they here. They told me Manon? yesterday during the Breakfast Club interview, I was too focused on Bo Nong's money. So I'm a I'm gonna act like I don't know she got it. But I just do it's that because I like line. the business I aspect of it. I don't know what you're talking about. What you mean? About. I don't know what you're when you can, <laughs> No, I just like the fact that she's been able to build her brand. Yeah. Oh, you done been slapped I in the face of the cult before, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you know she did that. That's how we are in Chicago, Bonan. That's how we are in Chicago, Bonan. you ever been to Chicago? I heard You ever been to Chicago? No, I've never We like this in Chicago when the gun come out. Where you are now? Don't talk about my city, Charlamagne. Oh, I forgot Flair from Chicago. Don't talk about my city player. I've heard some very good things about Chicago. Chicago is a beautiful city. Mm-hmm. Shit. She ain't no, it be, is. Downtown she, she ain't gonna be a part of shit. They coming downtown. Now. I love Chicago. I do like Chicago, especially downtown. City. And what would you say is the best city in America? Oh. Brownsville. For- Guy. Let's say we ain't an, never uh, been to Brownsville. <laughs> well, <laughs> see, it's, I can't. You can't put it on one because I love Virginia Beach. Virginia, oh, yeah, Af- I love South Chicago. Africa different than the goddamn. Uh, I love Long Beach. I live in Long Beach, California. Not okay. necessarily L.A., but Long Beach for okay. the, just the the neighborhoods of it all. Okay, come on, baby. Um, where else I? Oh, I love Monterey, California. Okay. I love my. So it's Monterey, a beautiful California. place. But I'm, see, I'm old is, school. Okay. I like it slow and mellow. I don't like the fast pace. Okay. I did all that in my 20s. Yeah. What's your favorite city, Bonang, in America? Um, and I just love when there's black York. people. Like Atlanta, Georgia, I really Beautiful. enjoyed. I really, really enjoyed that. I loved Miami, Florida. I went there once. That mm-hmm. was fun. I went to Dallas, Texas. Dallas is amazing. Yeah, Dallas, was, Texas? Dallas, so Texas. hold on. So you you left Africa to find black people in America? <laughs> I feel more comfortable. That. that was very racist. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't say that. No, I just said I feel more. Mo- I'm more comfortable <laughs> around black people. I think that's what I mean. But I, I love. No, I just, I don't know. I just sort of gravitated towards. Those I love seeing right. It's not black a. It's, it was in Atlanta. That's what I love. You see black people working. Yeah. Everywhere. So everywhere you everywhere see black Everywhere you go, yeah. because Atlanta at, at home, there's black people everywhere. Yes. So it's it sort the norm. of. It's the norm. Yes. There's black people everywhere. I love being around yeah. black people too. Andrew's yeah. like the only white person I'd I be around once people. a week. I'm not sure if Andrew is all the way white. I'm telling you. I'm, yeah, I'm no, I see Andrew's yeah, different though. I'm a white man. I think it's the New York upbringing. When you when you brought up in New York, I think your mindset is a little bit different. See, I'm from down south, so I know the type of white people that we want to avoid. So is New York your favorite city? <laughs> uh, in the world? Yes. Um, in America. You. I do love it. In America it is. Mm. In America, it is. Salute, everybody. Salute. Uh, um, I'm pour you a cup. I don't have a cup. <laughs> I tried to take a sip out of that. That's I didn't know Bonang was drinking. Um, I'm drinking. But yeah, I think I think New York is amazing. Obviously, I'm biased, you know, but yeah. there's there's places that are amazing to kind of like visit and just be in and just like fascinating to like look at. Like Tokyo is just a crazy different cultural experience. Mm-hmm. You know, I wouldn't want to live there. Japan. Yeah. Okay. But it was just like, it was just unique and wild. Um, but New York just provides some very interesting like things. Like a guy like me, mm. I could grow up in New York and be so close to all these different cultures mm. to the point where it's really not hard for me at all to like sit down and talk and relate yeah, to people. Yeah, I got you. Is I, that overwhelming, New York? Yeah, it is, but when you know it, where y'all going? It is. Say it. Everybody right? in the hurry. Yeah. Yeah. The old people will run you over while yes. you're on the street. In a hurry to go nowhere. Yes. I'm in like, where the hell are you going? Yeah. They will run you over, seriously. Mm, they do. Yeah. And I'm a big bitch. It's hard to run me. <laughs> you know the interesting thing about New York? You realize that New York's not overwhelming when you realize nobody's really going anywhere. They're not going. So all you got to do is walk your own oh, pace. pace. Okay. You know how, like, if, if I was to take off running down that hall right now, People in the hall probably start running too, just 100%. because. Yeah, they're like, "What the fuck is going on?" Mm-hmm. Yeah. New York kind of feels like that. It's like yeah. this rat race, and everybody's running, ripping, and shit. And you yeah, feel like yeah. you got to rip and run too, but no. People That's are it. in a rush to get home to watch Netflix. That's it. It's and watch the TV yeah. yeah. presents. They ready. That's exactly what it is. Episode number two. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Question. <laughs> I'm it's gonna a watch. Weird, it's a weird You're thing. Gonna enjoy I'm gonna enjoy it. it. I sat next to that fat bitch. Yeah, I'm <laughs> gonna watch it. That's the first thing I watch when I get home. Question, Bonang. Yes. When you hear the word culture in America, what do you think? Culture. Yes. Um, I think music. I mm-hmm. think n- not. I'm, I'm not going to be specific. I th- think fashion. Mm-hmm. I think. Uh, I, yeah, music and fashion. Those are the two things I I think can, about. Because culture in Africa is different, right? Yeah, culture. I mean, I would imagine this is something that you're drawing from. Like, and when you say so, yeah, let me let me maybe what, when you say culture, what do you? Mean? That's what I'm asking you because I know culture in America means something different than it means. I want to ask a question Africa. though before you stop. I'm sorry, Sean, man. I'm going to cut you off. I want to. Yes, you did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as a black woman from <laughs> South Africa, do you feel like the pride of women in South Africa is stronger there than the black women here in America? No. No. I think we're we're pr- proud of different things. I'm talking about internally as a woman. 
I haven't met enough American women to oh. make. That might not be a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because you might be Keisha from the block, baby. <laughs> you don't seem like a girl's girl. Me? Yeah, you seem like you got a lot of homeboys. I have both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I, yeah, I have both. But I, I, I vibe with anyone, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Why? I don't have a lot of homeboys. Sorry, I got a lot of homeboys. I'm comfortable around a lot of people, so, yeah. Because you're comfortable with yourself. Mm -hmm. Cheers. 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 How do you say cheers, cheers in, in, what was it? Cheers. In Kansas. No, no, in, uh, in the language you were saying. Oh, God. It's Tosa. In, it's Tosa. <laughs> Shit. How do you say? It's just cheers. That's it? Yeah, cheers. Oh, cheers is cheers universe. around the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers everybody. Right. <laughs> cheers. Let me know what you think. No, let me take it. It's good? Tasty. Mm. Tasty. Mm, not bad. I mean, I, I don't know anything about Charmaine. campaign, but it's good. Okay. You see how he did me? He didn't even give me that. You said you don't want drink. me to say that? You said, said you don't drink. Yo, Charlemagne, you, you know, gotta like, make up you your goddamn like, mind. Like, put ice like, in the yo, right. like that. Charlemagne, kind of why you hate black women in. so much, yo? I don't hate black women. I hate flame. I love flame. <laughs> That's how you shut him down. Hey, fuck you. Fuck you, nigga. Shit. No, I love Flame. Flame said earlier, Flame said, I'm a whole nigga up under this wig. I'm like, what? Trans, and I, that's what my trans sisters get so offended about. But when you ever see the videos when a man walk past next to a tranny on the street and say, oh, that, what's up, nigga? What's up, dude? Woo, woo. The tranny go all back and forth. They banter and go yeah. back and forth. Yeah. Her go-to is snatching her wig off and saying, I'm still a motherfucking man. I'm like, well, bitch, ain't that what we arguing about now? <laughs> you should have just agreed to it, bitch, and kept it pushing. <laughs> <laughs> there was that video where the dude was in GameStop and he goes, Do I look like a woman? Oh, he definitely did not look like a woman. <laughs> yeah. This is kind of tasty. What yeah, um what, what what did this come in? Is this the only flavor? Uh brute rose. This is brute and there's a brute rose. There's only two. Oh, what, what makes something brute? I've seen that written on a Ooh, that's a cologne. Brute. <laughs> <laughs> that's a of a cologne. That's old. That's I'm telling my age. <laughs> Brood meat just means the um, it's a it's a type of MCC. Uh -huh. That's all it means. It just means it's uh, you know made like any other. We can't call it champagne, Charlemagne. Let because me. it's not from champagne. It has to be from, from the, the region of yeah, champagne yeah, 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 in France right, to be right. called champagne. Got you. Tequila so, too, apparently, has yeah, to be from uh, Jalisco, Mexico. And yeah. cognac has to be from cognac mm -hmm. in France. Ah. Yes. Fuck the French. <laughs> oh, the stupid rules with that shit. I know. That's it's a, a grape. Get over it. Get you over it. I mean, grape, add some bubbles. You know. It's the same process, but we have to call it MCC, which means Method Cup Classique. But it's just made in the same way, double fermentation. How long did it take you to learn all this shit, Bona? Three and a half years. Wow. Yeah. But we only launched this in March 18th, 2019. Oh, so but it took us about four years to kind of get it to where we are drinking it in New York right now. So you had to go through a whole process. Of like you course. had to go through, Really? Of course. What was it? Give, give us the background on I that. I mean, you need to, I, I mean, I'm new in the wine industry. You know, I had to kind of figure out what wine is, learn a lot about wine, learn about the brand, learn about um, um, the different kinds of brands there are different grapes you know different fermentation methods um i had to get a, a wine master you know mm -hmm. and we put it together and the rest is history i, I guess. hate champagne this is actually tasty thank you i really much. i don't drink why it don't all. you like you I don't drink don't, alcohol I'm yeah all. i'm gonna i'm gonna make a non-alcoholic flame malibu rum for my birthday last year i and bet you got a fight too no, I did not. I get made love to. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make a non-alcoholic version. I'll send you one. Okay. Great. Yeah. Yeah. No, but this is actually tasty. Thank you very and much. And it's smooth. It's not like, mm. it's it's like, oh, okay. Easy drink drinking. Yeah, for Bonang. the Eve, I'm going to make sure. I, I have myself. a question. Bonang. Thank you. A Bonang. Sorry. How old it's are you? It's called a B. Can, can 32? I ask you? B? Okay, B. 32. So. I used to be 32. <laughs> it's a great age. It's a great age. Very great age. How were you when you were 32? Your body was so banging. Oh, you're was, still banging? Oh, no, 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 no. I used to be a damn piece. I'm full on Harriet Tubman right now. <laughs> What's wrong with Harriet? Now, listen, I don't like that. Harriet was stressed out, Flame. Harriet was stressed okay. out because if Harriet was stressed out, she wouldn't have kept going back. Harriet was gangster, is what she was. Harriet didn't have Harriet was gangster and determined. That's what she was. And she definitely was stressed out because one. I'm the bitch that would have got away and be like, they on their own. Shit. I, refuse, <laughs> I refuse to believe Harriet was out of shape. I refuse to believe she that. Be. She was running the exactly. whole time. Exactly. Exactly. I, I don't like the way they be depicting Harriet in the movie. There's no way, man. Harriet had to be like a track body. 
I'm serious. I don't think Harry looked like no woman either. I think Harry was fooling people. She might, she might have been the first original F to M. They might have thought Harry was a little nigga. All right. Okay, Bonnie. It worked. All right. It worked. Well, okay, so let's revisit that Harry thing before we go on. You know we have to give credit to white people because black folks didn't own nothing then for real. White folks helped us. White folks helped. I thought like, you was going to freak it with the Harriet Tubman. No, 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 no. I love, I love the story of Harriet Tubman. I, I just saw oh, the movie. The, movie, the <laughs> movie was not about slavery. The movie was about sheer determination and will. It really was. Mm-hmm. And uh, Vanessa Bell Calloway did kill it. But white folks had to help us. They had to help us. They owned boats and houses to hire mm-hmm. us to move. So the, I, I would like for some, somebody to show that angle of it. Well, that's always the the misconception that, yeah. that, that white ally is white allies are yeah. new. It's no. white, but, but, that's good white folk right there. But it's between white allies and white saviors. A lot of times, what Hollywood likes to do is they like to present white saviors as instead of white allies. Fuck Hollywood! Like, stop getting your history from Hollywood. I that's think that's fact. the biggest problem. That's it's like fact. you want to really know what happened. Don't be so lazy that you're condensing your whole history into like a two hour depiction of 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 this movie. Like, read a fucking book or just Google some that's shit. It's not that hard. That. It. it works sometimes. It works when it's done right, though. Because yo, because what it does is it like taps into an emotion, right? They like they really find a way to manipulate us and like. And they do that savior thing, and then you know white people will go watch the movie, and we'll be like, "Man, it was really amazing mm. what happened in Friday Night Lights, or what amazing yeah, happened yeah, yeah. in these situations, for sure." But reality is, like, you don't need to get your information from there. It's not their responsibility. I hate it's to not say Hollywood's it. no, responsibility. No, Andrew, like, you're absolutely right, but I hate to say it, that is how majority of people learn. Mm. They learn, especially they learn through arts and entertainment, especially in America. Is that is that the case in South mm. Africa? Like, so when. Here's a great question. When you're teaching the history of South Africa, like mm. when you're growing up and learning history in school, mm. how much of it is the fucked up history of South Africa? Or is there like a real effort to go, hey, this part happened, but look at all the amazing strides that we've made since then? I think everybody knows the history of South Africa. Well, it's taught in school, in yeah. history, you know, um, in primary school, in high school. We know pre-1994, we know Nelson Mandela, we know what happened during apartheid, what happened after apartheid. So we know all about it. I mean, we know how South Africa is what it is today. So do they teach black history in, in schools here? Not in they teach. I'm stuck on the fact that I've been pronouncing apartheid wrong this whole so time. Me too. You, you, landed, that. you made that shit sound like apartheid. a dish. <laughs> like <something. laughs> like, that shit sounded tasty. <laughs> apartheid. <laughs> Would you like some apartheid? <laughs> that shit sounded delicious. No. I would take some of that apartheid. You can't say that, do it. Nah, yo. <laughs> it's a birthday. What is it? Apartheid. Oh my apartheid. god. That comes apartheid. after dinner. <laughs> How do you function? <laughs> it's a I'm going to hit the baby. Yeah. I'm going to they didn't have all this stuff in the world. It's too much for me. <laughs> but they, so, so you go is No, it? but to answer your question, they teach. They teach, it's limited black history. Okay, all right. Like, well, we're not learning about, like, the. Uh, we're not really learning about apartheid. In, in America, we definitely learned it, like... I'm saying black American history. We know that black people invented peanut butter. That's about it. Okay. Yeah. That is okay. not true. You well, okay, well, in all schools... Black, on Black History Month. It's sort of like, a, you we know, We do pay attention. We learn about... <laughs> right. it's like, George Washington invented peanut butter. It's like, George Washington. <laughs> George Washington. They say Carver, Carver Lowe. They'd be like, George Washington. Carver. George Washington, yeah. Carver. Yeah. Carver. Yeah. Yo, that's like, George Washington guy. George Washington did everything. president. He chopped down a cherry tree. He peanut butter. <laughs> That's what they Yo, do the for cherries real. with a jelly. He needs some to go with it, man. Whoa. Oh my hey, bro. That's how the sandwiches get made, dude. That's George Washington. But they teach us limited things. Like they might teach us about okay. Martin, they teach us about Martin Luther King Jr. Okay. Yes. You're not gonna learn about Malcolm X. Depending where you are, yes. you'll learn about Frederick Douglass. For whatever reason, okay. DC teaches about Frederick Douglass a lot. Yes. Okay. Um I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, so I learned about Denmark, V.C. growing okay. up because his his house was actually downtown Charleston. So I just think it's a matter of location, but overall, I'm no. I'm asking, do they teach you about, you know, black African? No. No. Okay. No Absolutely way. Oh, none. All right. No. Yeah. Like Nelson Mandela. No. And... We learned about Nelson Mandela through movies. Oh, okay. I yeah. think that's what you mean. Like, why is it... I mean, what, what other, what other the choice story, do people have? Yeah, the story is so fascinating, Yeah, right? So we'll learn about it. But it's very rare that... Well, Taylor's saying you got to go to college. I didn't go to college. And then in college, you the can learn oh, African history. Okay. There's like yeah, African. but you have to choose to learn it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not compulsory. But we okay. kind of... It's, it's, it's an odd thing because I didn't realize it until when I was living in Spain and my roommate was from Cameroon. And I didn't realize that I looked at Africa at 21 years old mm-hmm. as a country instead of... 100 countries. Yeah. Right? So like in that moment, he was like, yeah, you have to realize and each country is full of different tribes because we didn't even carve up the map. White people did. So each country has its own... 
people and its own president and its own systems no, and no, its no, own no. culture. But and even its own... within the country, there's multiple cultures yes. and they are tribal. Let me tell you something. Yeah. yeah. For instance, I'm Tswana from the Tswana culture, Tswana. right? Yeah. Tswana. Kimu Tswana. From Bapong, which means I'm Murulong. And under the, under the Tswana culture, we have kings. So there's ba- Bafukeng tribe, Barolong tribe, Batsipin tribe. And, and each of those tribes has a chief. So let's talk about Bafukeng, right? Their chief is chief. They live in Pukeng, right? And they own all the platinum mines. In Bapong, Murulong, they live in Bapong. We have our own chief. And then the Zulu people, also huh. now, the Zulus. Zulu culture, Shaka Zulu was a Zulu king. Yeah. And each, so each, First I mean, person to do whiteface. Okay. <laughs> I had to think about it. Like, he did do whiteface, bro. Uh, okay. Anyway, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. you are all right. Each, in each tribe, there's like, can be seven other sub tribes. Right. Yeah. And they have, they'll have some sort of rights to that business, like for the mines, if you're just yes. part of that. Yes. So let's say Buff, in, in, in the Bafukeng tribe. Yeah. Th- uh, the chief in in Pukeng sends all the kids who are born in Bafukeng, in Pukeng, to university. Really? If you are born in the, if you're a child from that tribe, because they own all the platinum mines, they're the richest tribe, tribe in, in Africa. It. Yeah. Now, and then you have monarchies like Swaziland that has an active king. Right. And then in Swa- in the, the Zulu tribe as well in South Africa, Guazulu Natal in Durban has an active king as well. So there's an active king that operates within a democratically elected yes, government. Yes. So so the, do the people of that region tend to vote based on how the kingdom wants yes. to vote? Yes. Ah, so we're, this we're is- We're experiencing that here right now. We have an active king in the White House. That's what he thinks he is. He oh, okay. Yeah, he's he he about to get dethroned. <clears throat> yeah, but I saw that we this morning on CBS. But yeah, I think it's interesting. Okay. It's like we we kind of gravitate and vacillate towards that. Like yes. we like to think that like oh we're so democratic and so free thinking, but it's not really. It's like your parents kind of tell you what your politics are, mm-hmm. and then you kind of lean into those politics, which is similar to like a tribal system. Yes, only there's like a cultural, I guess. But I think it's yes. different in America because there's more than one tribe. They, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Whereas you're born into that and that's the tribe. Yeah, but it's more than one. So therefore it's always still type of a uh, still a democracy, right? Yes, but I guess I guess here I guess you don't have a choice to to jump ship with another tribe. Like you can do whatever you want. If you marry into a, like a man from another tribe, you become part of that tribe. Now, what, really? if, what if the man wants to become part of your tribe and he marries into you? Traditionally, he can't. A, a man is a man. Interesting. Now, what if your tribe the more popping tribe though? And I want to be like, look, then man. you need to marry good. Then marry right. <laughs> I love it. You know, marry properly. That is one thing she that should change. Oh. I think. Well, I'm not married. This is called a stop nonsense flame. Let me tell oh, you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want these guys to talk to you. Oh, you yeah, I'm just like, hey, oh, well, please, I'm here to I, work. I'm the in America. Ring is the least of the issues, fucking <laughs> Are you actually get so strong? You turn to Prince Akeem. The I ain't talking about being the least like, of the worries. <laughs> you ain't saying that South Africa since you've been here. <laughs> that ain't gonna stand away, girl. The ring ain't gonna stand away, shit. <laughs> they might catch me on one of them. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I need to use your phone. You left that one open, girl. I had to slide on in. <laughs> when the last time you had to use that ring, Bonang? Um, I don't know. <laughs> when was it? Last night. Where was you at? <laughs> I can't tell you. What what you oh, we got a good story. Go on your Instagram. The strip <laughs> that last night. Hold on, one second. Get your balls right, okay? Make sure your balls are shaped up beautifully. Look at this Manscaped razor right here. This is for one thing. It's not to trim your mustache. It's not to trim your beard. It's to put this thing on right here, clip that up, and then boom. You're going to get your sack, and you're going to get your bush looking beautiful. Mm. All right? That's what we want to do. You can't be out here bushy. balls, King. Bro, you got to have the clean balls. You had Look at this right here. Manscaped. I look like a... So of course, look at that. That's if you want Is to have like easy? that little Scotty Pippen. So do I got to put the cream? The cream comes after they got the ball deodorant because you know your shit is woofing, especially you go down south. Bro, I'm trying this. And the reason I'm trying this, and I, I've been telling y'all for the longest, I really don't want no hair on my balls. I don't want no hair on my pubes. I really don't. We got to get rid of it. I do, you don't I, want I, any I envy women with the ball vaginas, yo. I don't want nothing. I think we got to start doing this. This is nonstop. Maybe yeah. we even look into a laser situation. I don't Manscaped. Hurt Listen, you can't hurt yourself because they got this clip on. It's guaranteed. Anyway, yeah. manscaped.com. Use our promo code. Make sure you go get it. P 
case. Where now, were you? Because of your, because of your African ac- accent and your yes. beautiful black woman, are you more white men attracted to you than black men? It's so funny. It. Like in, in, in Europe, oh, in Europe, men love, the European men love like African women, like very dark African women. Um, here, I, not no one really says much, you know. But they really? do holler. They're very confident. Well, that's because people don't talk to each other here. No, I'm gonna tell you what it is. Why? That goddamn fur and all that goddamn jewelry <laughs> and them expensive ass bags and that uh, designer phone case, Jotty or whatever that is. <laughs> Motherfuckers Jody feel like or. they feel like you out of their league. They like, look, it's a random Thursday. Might be intimidating at yeah. 11 a.m. and she got on a full chinchilla. <laughs> and I actually have to go. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> where you gotta go now? Um, you have a date. No. I just like to know what Bonang is doing because I am really uh, impressed by I, the brand that you have built. I have a meeting now. I'm going to use this because it's a bit hot in here. Okay, you're fine. Um, I'm going to give you one before you leave. I thank like, you. I, I actually really like this. Uh-huh, that's, that's your, is this be, you? That's your Would you like trip. to know why it's hot? Is this you? Yeah. You do, you do know why it's hot in here. No bitch do what I do. Why is it hot in here? Because she got on a goddamn chinchilla. That's a great point. And a turtleneck. You broke it down the bitch. It's cold. America's very cold. Um, I have a meeting at like now at midday with Pencils of Promise. Do you know Pencils of Promise? Mm-mm. It's an organization that builds schools in Africa. Wow. Yeah. So uh, you know, one do of my. Do you guys like that? We need it. It's so, don't have a choice. Okay. What do you mean? Do we like it? Because that seems like the go-to for like Westerners. They're like, all right, if I want to be a good person, build well, school in Africa. School. Well, house. we don't like it, but unfortunately, I'm we do take need that it because it's going to make this annoying sound. Because we do need it. it. Fan so you need it. So yeah. you accept Fan it. the queen, yeah. Andrew. That can't do it. That would be over here, bro. My do tribe it. doesn't know. Listen, you colonizer. My fan tribe. My the tribe queen. Does. I got a queen, bro. My, and I don't fan her. This is bad. I like that. So, but okay. So, is it is it something where you're like, okay, we need it, so we'll accept it? Because I I know that there's a lot of pride there as well. So th- I, there might be part. There of There is pride. Uh, obviously, it's yeah. not a it's not a good thing. It's not a, a nice thing that you know our continent needs all this help. But that's just what it is. Yes. You know, we need schools. We need water. We need infrastructure. Right. We need resources. And we need to get girls into school. So right. part of the, my mission to be here is to build schools and get my girls into school. I really? agree with you. That's yeah. wild though, because that's Africa cool. has wealth. Like you have people yeah. in Africa with wealth. So yeah. why can't it just be done? It's that's another conversation for another day. It's just like the wealth is going to the wrong people, and the people with the wealth are not doing the right things for the girls and everybody else. You know what? So. It's, it's an interesting one because Charlemagne had brought this up on a past episode about the Caribbean, but I think it's true in a lot of parts of Africa that like China is really making a big move into Africa. And have yeah, you it has that? already. Yeah, 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 yeah. They own a lot of something? infrastructure. They you know because they give. They give um, money to a lot of African countries, so they end up owning a lot of things in in, in and Africa. And then, when you own those mines, you own you the own, natural wealth. Yeah. How can a country ever get exactly, up from under that? Exactly. Exactly. Wow, I would say it's fucked up, but that's kind of the American model. Yeah, it, it is fucked up. You, it, it is. Say it. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It is fucked up. So, so then, what do you so do? So, colonizing ain't just limited to American white people, basically. No, the Europeans. I mean, everybody is colonized, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's. I mean, the, the tribal warfare I imagine in Africa has existed in that capacity, right? It's like there's a shift of space and a shift of resources and wars. Yeah, and- yeah, yeah. Parts of, you know, I can't speak for all of Africa because there's a war in, the, you know, the parts of Africa that, I mean, in Rwanda, there's, you know, yeah. there's so many things that are happening. So yeah, I can yeah. only speak about South Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's safer for me to do that. Yeah. But, you know, the things in South Africa that we need, you yes. know, sanitation, health, hygiene, so many things, roads. I mean, um, 26% of South Africans are unemployed. Do you know, you know, what's mm. interesting? It's like, we have this view of South Africa, I think, in America, like South Africa is the first world. It's just like New York. It's just like America. It's just like uh, London or it, something like that. Yeah, it it's not it's different. Parts of it, though. But I think because there are parts of it that yeah. there are, right? Yeah. So I, in a lot of ways, I think it's almost overlooked in comparison oh, to other places. Oh, because you think it's so developed? Yeah, we're like, oh, no, it's the same. Trevor, hey, Trevor Noah's from there. He always tells us oh, yeah, how Charlize dope it is. Oh, yeah, Charlize Theron, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they do. no, no, we do. Yeah. We do. We do. But, it's, you know what I'm saying? Isn't yeah. That, so yeah. maybe it's almost to its detriment. Like, we need more people to go... We do. We need a, 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 a. We need. Okay, this is what South Africa needs. We need better PR. Number one, mm. I think Africa in general. I think the the con- that's the PR man right there. But that's only because I've been there. That's the PR. The man. misconceptions around Africa need to change. Talk to this man right here. This guy can spin anything. Um, but no, I you know it's not about spin. Like I, it's I, all I do is I find the best. Yeah. Like Bonang. Yeah. 
Like well, she's not from South Africa. Bonang. No, but the best. I'm on the oh. south side. Though. Not the best, <laughs> this is not the best of Chicago. You know who the best of Chicago is? Who? Chief fucking Keith. Ooh. All right. Now, I take Bonang. <laughs> uh, oh, that's the one who walk around with his pants hanging up on his boot. He is the best. <laughs> Chief Cheeks. <laughs> Chief Cheeks. Asking for a friend. <laughs> no, but you take somebody like Bonong. I meet Bonong. I see how her country gravitates towards yeah. her, which is insane because there's nobody that gets like a mass majority of love, right? Yeah. Right? yeah. But if you go look at her, yeah. go look at our YouTube with the Breakfast Club interview, go look at her Instagram. Yeah. What, yeah. Unless she's filtering our comments, yeah. people really love they go her. Crazy, yeah. Yeah. they love her. That's why I'm gonna give you right? a fan because I want you to put your fan on, on 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 your page. Can no bitch do what I do? And this is <laughs> <laughs> okay. No bitch so, do thank what you, you do. So this is thank the you. PR. The PR yeah. is just giving her a platform, and that's why I'm right. yeah. That's why I have you know these important meetings. Part of it is 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 glitz and glamour, but also you are given these platforms to kind of do something about it. You know, I'm a global citizen ambassador, Africa ambassador. Right. I have a bursary back home, the Bonang Matiba Bursary Fund that actually, um, I, I give- What's a bursary for, for It's us. a scholarship. Got you, got you. Okay. So I send 10 girls to university every year. We choose 10 girls and we pay for the tuition to they do an, uh, complete an undergraduate. At the end of the undergraduate degree, they have to plow back into the community. So that's the plan. We've educated about 25 girls. The aim is by 300 that we can send, well, 2030 sent 300 girls to school. But now, you know, if I'm here, I can get money. We need, you know, I want to build a school back home. Right. There are schools that need desks and water and, you know, it's, it's small things like even a running toilet. Right. Yeah. I would so, help you do that. I would, yeah. help, I would help you open a school. Okay, in cool. I'm like, glad. You make me feel like my little scholarship fund ain't shit. What? Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just, I just, you I did just, buy some backpacks. I need to buy. I need I to find a nice I mean, guy. Where no, do you no, no, find I mean, them? I yes, mean, I would love to have children. You I'm Cancerian. I'm a mother at heart. Very you're nurturing. Be, uh, very loving. So. Just listen to you speak and how your addiction is and Thank just you. how caring you are. That's all you. Do you know any nice guys? Addiction to be a good mother <laughs> flame. Good dick. First of all, it's good dick to be a good mother. Don't get it twisted. First of all. It does take comes out. It takes dick to yes. be a mother. Let's be good honest. dick to yeah. be a good mother because the good dick gonna plant the seed. Facts. I mm -hmm. know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Stop listening to that, sh that champagne and get to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm really telling you, I'm going to have a nigga cheat <laughs> before I leave here. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy Williams over here in a minute. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I thought I having flashbacks. Uh, I'm going to have more stuff. <laughs> it's gone. Oh, my God. We drink all that shit. You ain't going to be able to go you to your You're not going to stop hanging out I'm with us. I'm not going anywhere. We drink it all, boy, now. Okay, it's fine. Listen, right. um, I will help you open a school in South Africa. When are we doing that? We, I will let you know after my meeting. I'd really love as much help as possible. No, you know? I'm dead serious. Yeah, what I'm also dead serious. to open up a school? How much money are we talking? About 50,000 US dollars. 50,000? Yeah. Make sure I got four of them on me right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're spending 50000 on jazz sports. You could be Yo, over to school. Time out. Bro. It's $50,000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I just started, I started a scholarship fund last and month. Oprah only opened two? He, she opened uh, the Oprah Winfrey Academy for Girls, which is a massive on its own private institution. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it probably costs a lot more to build. Oh, no, it's a lot more. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole, you know, school with a, a dormitory. Campus. And, yeah, okay, no, gotcha, it's a gotcha, campus. Gotcha, no, it's, okay. It's in South Africa. It's absolutely amazing. Then she sends all the girls to college in America, university oh, in America. Yeah, and then they come back there, and then they either work here or they come back home. It depends, but she Love always, it. yeah. I launched a scholarship fund last month at my mama's alma really? mater, yeah, South Carolina State University. It's okay. an HBCU. So how does it work? Well, I gave them a quarter million dollars. And the scholarships go to uh, mm -hmm. black women in South Carolina who major in English, something in the mental health space, or communications. Because my mother was a teacher. She's a teacher, so her, her major is English. I'm radio and TV, so that's communications. And then I'm big on, you know, people Wonderful. being mentally healthy. Mental health is very important. So if a school is if school is fifty grand in Africa, yeah, bro, because, yeah, what are we waiting on to open up BMC yeah. Academy? Pe oh, yeah, pencil, pencil, <laughs> yeah, let's get BMC Academy. Yeah, Academy. yeah. I agree. We can absolutely do it. You know, yeah. and we can name it after you. No or BMC, you. no. Listen. I would say cancer school, but that Before wouldn't be good. No, that's, that, that doesn't that? sound very positive. Cancer school. <laughs> uh, cancer school. <laughs> Before you take, no, money. No, Before no, you no. take money from a black man in America, yeah. you got to make sure you know all about the sad house. 
The what? The side yeah, hustle. There's gonna be some side effects. Oh, just taking money. Yeah. Black flame. Man. I yeah. am a faithful black man. Stop okay, that I shit, flame. You, flame. That's my girl. We girls. We got me. Come on. on. She's saving I me. I love my wife. Okay. okay. You know okay. how many niggas love their wife? They've been at my house <laughs> with their ring on and the baby seat in the back seat. Oh, nigga, you better God. knock it off. You don't know who you fucking with. <laughs> <laughs> I, they say if you like it, you should have put a ring on it. I ain't put no ring on it, but I damn sure left one around it. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> y'all don't give me no more champagne. I'm getting loose. <laughs> No, I fuck with Bonang. Oh, Bonang is God. a. I believe that you don't. Thank you. I'm inspired. I really am inspired. Thank you. I truly believe that you don't meet anybody for no reason. Yes. I met I Bonang in South too. Africa. Yes. Randomly. She said I was sitting outside. I wasn't sitting outside. No, I mean outside. What's the story? <laughs> no, I met him at the Global Citizen concert. He wasn't sitting outside. I didn't say that. I said you were sitting outside like where you were. Yes. Outside of like, a, it was like this studio set up. Me yes. and my daughter were sitting outside. Yes. I just don't like to be cramped up in the studio. Plus, I don't like, there's too many white people in there. I, yeah. I, I was sitting right, right. outside. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, so, yeah. I was just sitting there. And plus, everybody kept coming through there. So, it was like Oprah pulled up and Tyler Perry mm, pulled mm, up. The people mm, were pulling up. So, mm, I was just sitting outside. Mm. Right. And then I saw her and I was like, is that Beyonce? Because <laughs> that's how they I were wish. acting. <laughs> that's how they pulled nuts. up. Yeah. It's crazy for you back there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that. Trevor Noah. Yeah. I mean, Trevor Noah and I were hosting the Global Citizen concert. Oh, and wow. he introduced me on stage, and mm-hmm. it was like <sighs> superstar. Yeah, yeah. It's really, superstar. Mm-hmm. absolutely. So he's just outside, and not you just see him. not out in a bad. But space. you felt the need to like bring him in or protect him. Or... <laughs> <laughs> Who was this hobo? Why does anyone say this clicking. about you, Charlamagne? <laughs> <laughs> DJ Envy said the same thing, like, oh, yeah, you what's up, little show man? I'm like, no, I didn't say that to him. <laughs> oh, my God. Were you familiar with him? Yes, we okay. know who Charlemagne is in so South he's, Africa. he's pretty popular out there. Yes, yeah, 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 yes, yeah, yeah, yes, 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 he is popular. He's pretty popular here, too, especially in my community. I heard he's very popular. Yeah. Wendy loves Charlemagne. Yeah, how I how we know him is like well we get the Wendy Williams show in South Africa and yeah. he, she talks a lot about him. But right. also uh we we watch a lot of the Breakfast show as well. Yeah, yeah. Cuz yeah, that's just So if I came like this, you think I could pass with Wendy? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. They yes. think I'm big Wendy. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna post a picture with Flame. See, I, see, I could do that, but they'll be saying, they'll, they'll say I'll I'm be, being I'll so be shady. Do I I'll post a picture with Flame and be like, me and Wendy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be a Suzanne. Okay. I'll be a Suzanne. And she'll never know. That white bitch don't never know. You'll now, enjoy is, is it. Is it, Charlie, is it crazy to go to another continent and then be embraced by people in a, in a place mm, where your show doesn't question. even exist? It's very humble. radio? It actually does exist. On radio? No, we will watch it on it, YouTube. On, yeah, well, that's, on YouTube. That's what we learned. I mean, that's what, oh. that like, you know, when I would when I would go on tour internationally and I have people come out, they'd be like, "Oh yeah, I found you guys," you know, from YouTube. Oh. You know, what I mean? well, and it's like, yeah. but oh. seeing that, seeing that in another country mm. and being a celebrity in another country mm. was that was that weird for you? Was that? Um, it's just humbling. It's, just, mm. it's, it's very humbling, and it lets you know um, just just the power of your platform, and mm. it makes you not want to misuse your platform in any way, shape, or form. Because you're not just affecting people where you're from; you're affecting people Globally. all across the world, mm. and you might be a representation mm. for you know where you're from for people mm. all across the world. And you know what I find as a with American artists, it's like sort of a it's like a wow they recognize me in South Africa because I was watching the Travis Scott documentary on Netflix. Travis Scott, the drummer. No, 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 man, no. the rapper. Kylie Look, mom, I can fly. Yeah, Kylie Jenner's about... baby daddy way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, <laughs> that guy, Travis Scott. Why what did you take about? on the accent of everybody you talking about? <laughs> Kylie Jenner's baby daddy, H-Town. That's, that's, no, no, that's not an H-Town accent. That's like H, that's a Swana thing. But yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah, you know yeah, Travis Scott. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had a piece in, in his documentary. Is who I'm thinking right? Of, yeah. Oh, yeah. and he was saying exactly what she was saying that it you, it's like a South Africa is so far, right? Yeah. Right, yeah. and it's just like you can you don't expect your work or your whatever you do to reach to that reach, part yeah, of. Yeah. And I find it very humbling for Americans, especially Black Americans, when they come to South Africa. It's like, oh, they know who I am, but we actually really do. And, yeah, and my dumb we ass know went to the everyone. Mall. Yeah, you were walking around. I took my, mm. me, and my wife, and daughter went to Nelson mm. S- Mandela Square, Square Mall, and I was like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, shut it down. I, mean, yeah, I shut it down, but it but, was like, whoa. Yeah, they, we it know him. Yeah, it, is it? We is know it, him. We know everyone. Is it <laughs> odd for? Is it odd for like 
for you as a South African to experience this kind of like new embracing of African roots? Yes. You mean in America? In America. In, yes. in America, when we were growing up, I don't know if there was the same like love or affection or interest in the African roots. And now it seems like it's it's really part of like mainstream black culture, whereas it's like, I want to see where, 23 and me, I want to see where I'm from Absolutely. and what I am. Because back to where you were saying, unfortunately, it's because of Hollywood, Black Panther, The Lion King, Beyonce going to Africa, putting the, the, the soundtrack together for The Lion King and using African Artists. Oh, That's yeah. That's where the wave is coming from. Even now, I'm, older, like, I'm older than all of y'all. Yeah. It's always been that. Well, no, I'm <laughs> sorry, Flame. Flame, Flame, I'm sorry. No, no, He's flirting. But Flame, but Flame <laughs> remember, I'm sure Flame remembers this. The brothers with the African medallions on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Movies like Shaka there. Zulu. Always been like, there. it's always been a back to Africa aesthetic about mm -hmm. our community. Even if you watch a movie like Belly, Nas and T-Boz, when T-Boz was doing that terrible acting, mm -hmm. and she was like, Africa, that's far. You know, now when Nas was like, I'm gonna go move back to Africa, it's like, Africa, that's far. Like, like, it's always been a, a thing about Africa, but Black Panther, Definitely, I think. Put it up there. Oh, absolutely. Put it way absolutely. up there. It really did. Because it made, for the first time, African culture chic and cool. Yes. And refined. And, and rich. Yes. And powerful, right? Which is everything we are. Yeah. We have vibranium, but it's just like another version of it, you know? Yeah. All those things, the fashion, the people, the, the jewelry, the, the pulse, you know, the heartbeat, the soul. We are that, but I'm I'm grateful that it's 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 you know finding its way into mainstream uh, America. I think Americans uh, love fresh things, you know, yes. fresh content. They're always what, looking for different ways to inspire their work, and I think is, Africa's untapped. What is vibranium? What is the vibranium in Africa? What's the, that well, platinum we have mine. platinum mines. Mm -hmm. We have lots of diamonds in South Africa, rich in oil in Nigeria. Like, but you were saying, you know, the money goes to the wrong people, but. Africa is very, very rich in in with the in, diamond mines. Is that true that they have the kids find them, and if they if they catch you stealing, they cut off your hand or something? Like Not that? cut off your hand, but you have to register any diamond or any piece of uh, metal. What if you get caught stealing? Okay, we, we go to jail. Oh, at least you go to jail. Mm. <laughs> you don't lose a limb. What about <laughs> President Obama? Him, his Kenyan roots. Did that have anything? Yes, we love him. Yeah. He's come to South he Africa. Yeah, I, oh, we love we love them. Michelle has come to South Africa many many times um, to have talks. She was there a couple of months ago. Actually, it was a it was a big moment for Africans. You know, uh, the Barack Obama moment. I think for any black person, yeah, yeah, it resonated yeah, yeah. with a lot of us. There was something very, and he was there when Nelson Mandela passed away. He was there when our Mama uh, Winnie passed away. Mm -hmm. I believe. I think he came <clears> back. <throat> so he is a big love of South Africa too. He loves South Africa. I love South Africa. Yeah. When when you see when you see success stories in America mm. of black people, mm -hmm. is it is it something that like you're used to by now, or is it something that's expected? When you see somebody come from from nothing and then become a millionaire, mm -mm. it's so very is fresh. that inspiring? Very still? inspiring. That's why Trevor Noah is like the our national treasure. Right. Charlize Theron is our national treasure because our country is so new. Right. Right. It's. It, it, it's impossible to think there are so many there, there are so many under South African stories but it right. is a and what about oh, black Jesus. American stories like when you see a guy you know, even like Charlemagne or you see a guy mm. like Jay-Z or like Diddy mm. like guys who maybe mm. haven't come from a lot and then mm. they they come to hit this like absolutely is that inspirational absolutely I think huh. you know the black people will root for black people right or, yeah and we or, there's something about when a black person wins it's like yeah you know Bernard Boy's mom said something very important at the um, was it the BET Awards when he ex she accepted yeah, his, she won the award for said bef I want every black person to know that before they are anything they are African. The, I remember that. That was great. There, there's uh, Alex. Alex does all the video production for the show. He said something very well, no, interesting. Well, I got to go in a second too, but go ahead. And, um, <clears throat> and he, he was talking about, we were talking about like what it's like being black. And like we were talking about, I think it was maybe the use of the N word or something like that. And like why maybe people in other countries that are black can still use it, even though they haven't experienced like the American oppression yeah. where it was derived from. And then he goes, uh, the black experience globally is very similar. Meaning being a black person in Germany Absolutely. is not that different than being the black person Absolutely. in America, et cetera. So hearing you go like you are black first 
in, in this, like you want to see other black people win. It kind of put that in perspective mm. for me, mm. you know, and it, it's just cool to see you root for someone in another country because you feel like you understand what they might've gone through to get yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. And we use them for, you know, as a, as a point of reference mm-hmm. it, it, um, for many, 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 many things. I mean, America is, uh, well, not even America, just black Americans in general. Uh, you come here, they're the best of the best. And if you can be the best of the best with amongst the best of the best, it's like, are you kidding me? Yeah, you, you have it. to celebrate. And that. that dispels a lot of false uh, stereotypes and false narratives, right? Because for so long, I didn't even know, I thought Africans didn't refer to themselves as black. Hmm. But I hear your whole generation refer to yourself as a black person, which is yeah. refreshing to we me. We are very black. And, and yeah. don't be acting like you didn't know what that was. You go to the movies. You know they always kill the black person first. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> they like, do. White people say that too. Well, they do. You know they're going to get rid of the niggas first. So that's going to have a little bit longer life. <laughs> 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 I'm just keeping it Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> Bonong bon- 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 has to go because she has a meeting. Woman. And Thank I don't you. want Bonong to be you. late because I don't want the white yeah. people yeah. actually going to be yes, please. to say things like, Jesus Christ, the black people from Africa are always late too. You know what I'm <laughs> African time. <laughs> so you go from CP time to African time. Okay. Uh, Bonong, give me your Instagrams and Twitters and all that it's good stuff. It's at Bonang underscore M on Twitter and on Instagram and on Facebook. And Bonang Mati Com and houseofbng.com Flame give me yours again mm. hishiwebookings at gmail.com that's when you want to book a bitch yeah. um, <laughs> Flame Monroe oh, is my Twitter name Monroe Flame because I'm a backwards queen is my Instagram name <laughs> please subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Coffee Time I'm telling you you're going to learn something because I'm a teacher you will laugh and you will learn <laughs> and my Facebook name is my whole illegal name thank you Mark Zuckerberg Marcus Flame Monroe Parker <laughs> Follow a bitch. That's yes. right. Listen, as I'm all, a leader, not a follower. There you go. Unless you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, and you think we're you. brilliant. You're thank absolutely you, right. Thank this you. Was some that was so you think fun. We're just a couple Lightning idiots who don't you. know thank shit. Thank you. Oh nice to meet you're you. Right. I love beautiful. See, this is what I'm talking about. When a tranny can see a beautiful woman, admire who she is, not just her beauty. I, I, I've cut your brain long for mm. cut your You about to steal her whole fucking. You must come to South Africa. I see what you're doing. We've got. You about to steal her whole look. <laughs> I can't steal her look. She 32. What the fuck I'm going to do? Put a mask on? I already got one on. Shit. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Whatever struggles you are facing this holiday season from depression and anxiety to trauma and grief, BetterHelp can connect you with a professional counselor in a safe and private online environment. It's so convenient. You can schedule secure video or phone sessions as well as chat and text with your therapist and anything you share is completely confidential. Best of all, it's a truly affordable option. Our listeners even get 10% off your first month with the discount code IDIOTS, so why not get started? Simply go to betterhelp.com idiots and fill out a questionnaire to get matched with a counselor, you'll love today.